hope buddy hope you're all doing well today this is gonna be my review of season 11 episode 20 of the walking dead only four episodes left after this one uh the title of the episode is what's been lost so let's get on with this because of course these are all a little bit longer than average not a lot but just enough to make things you know uh, take a little longer uh, at the end of the previous episode you have Eugene uh, you know uh, turning himself in and you have this intro that's got Carol saving everybody and Carol and Daryl it's a real Carol and Daryl Daryl uh, which maybe it's a little homage to what show could have been with the Carol and Daryl show that was alluded to uh, and then you have Carol talking to Ezekiel and you know telling him this that and the other and then she turns around and uh, he's gone and she's like what you know he wouldn't leave for no reason and then you have uh, the Commonwealth Goon Squad <laughs> I don't know how Carol I mean yes Carol is a badass but so's Rosita so's Negan so is almost everyone in our group even like uh, you know Judith and I'm sure even though he's a goofy little kid RJ could kick most people's ass in the Commonwealth uh, but so many of them get captured maybe it's probably too though where you know uh, the commonwealth soldiers and whatever kind of thugs they have have weapons and our people aren't allowed to have weapons in there so that's probably why um yeah they've grabbed everybody for the most part and not in a fun way <laughs> And then you have Carol on the defensive, which you really don't want to have Carol ever on the defensive. Uh, they just don't know who they be fucking with. Uh, Carol, I don't, what is Ezekiel's name? That's weird. I don't know Ezekiel's name. Uh, or like, I mean, his last name. You know, Carol's uh, husband that died in the first season's Pelletier, but who knows um i just don't see these people getting the drop on daryl he's he's daryl uh while not in the comics and kind of attacked on just piece of tat in the first few seasons i've grown to like the character and he is our substitute rick uh, you know, high class welcome this is your substitute Rick uh, but you know he's a badass but he's a badass within the boundaries of logic uh, even more so than Carol because you know sometimes like she's a strong woman but she's doing stuff that a Arnold Schwarzenegger size man ain't gonna get by with um Pamela's bullshit and then Yumiko punching her uh, little security guard uh, you know she's doing the power play thing trying to you know say Yumiko you know you do what I want or else and uh, while they want to you know save the old world that is saving the old world because it happens a lot still too much now but uh, I miss when you could skip the ads <laughs> so so slow this way uh, Yumiko telling her brother to get the fuck out of there which I'm sure they've got him even though I didn't see him uh, on the next episode uh, I cannot remember her name. Connie. Uh, and her 
sneaky ways. Uh, th that's where it does work out well to have a deaf character. Because then you can have scenes where they're totally silent. Nobody knows that they're talking. Uh, I like the jail that uh, Hornsby's in. Because uh, it, it just looks like nothing we've had in The Walking Dead. Um, and he's, you know, about off his tit. Where he's, you know, in there with Sebastian and just all that gore. Um, he's a good Hornsby. I just don't like the character. I don't like people like that. Even though, in ways, I am sort of that person. <laughs> I guess you can hate yourself the most. You know, I try to facilitate what needs facilitated. Um, I wish, though, they keep teasing a lot of stuff and they keep making me think. And, of course, I watch way too many other Walking Dead YouTubers, but, you know, you keep wanting to see the CRM, and if there's going to be any CRM shit, well, it's not in the next episode either, so it's got to be in the last three, and that's kind of annoying. That's such a big thing, and there's so much of them, well, you know, the world beyond, which would be around them, and then, um, then you have the stuff in Fear of the Walking Dead, you know, you would, you would think we would get a little bit more time on that, but I do think they're sending though some of the people to the CRM for the A and B shit. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> Pamela is just totally like a Darth Vader, you know, like after one little son getting killed. I know family's family, but shit. Her son wasn't worth for just wasn't worth feeling anything about, in my opinion. I know I don't have kids, but sometimes I've known of people that just they couldn't care after so many fuck ups. Uh, I know I'm lucky my family shouldn't care about me, but they do. Uh, <laughs> but I never was as big a fuck up as Sebastian. Um, yeah, lots of traveling with Carol and Daryl on the Hornsby, and then, uh, Eugene and Yumiko, you know, Eugene just shooting the straight shit, and Yumiko being there for him. Uh, the, the tunnel here with Carol and Hornsby, it's kind of like Hornsby knew that was there, and wanted to get rid of Carol and then just get away himself in my opinion but I do think some of those walkers were very walkers though because they acted just a wee bit different than uh, than the normal uh, I hope I'm in frame at least for some of this and uh, I've got a tripod that I always forget to use but anyways um all of these in this last third, though, have been excellent episodes, even if they had little bits of filler, uh, which is better than, you know, some seasons where you, like, uh, first half is great, the second half's dead, or, you know, every other episode's okay, and then just kind of makes you want to not watch anymore, but, um, uh, I like how uh, Yumiko pretty much throws the gauntlet down in front of Pamela and the whole Commonwealth, saying she's going to defend Eugene, which I think is great. Uh, I'm wondering how fucking long the uh, the last episode's going to be. It's going to have to be at least two hours long. If it's not, they're just not going to be able to fit enough in it, I don't think, but... I hope it is. I mean, and they are doing the great thing where it's not going to be on AMC Plus. I mean, I love getting shit early on AMC Plus. That means if I do have something to do, 
I can go do it and not miss it. But, uh, and I mean, I record it too, but I like that fresh feeling. But, nobody's going to get to see it before 9 o'clock on the 20th, so that's good. Um, Hornsby being a Hornsby, I was trying to slide away and then they're just not playing that shit and you know I wouldn't have even turned my back on him but the arrow to the neck good kill um, and then you have our people in the bus going to not such a good place um next week's episode is pretty good it's got a lot of uh, a lot of like intertwining storylines and uh, if you don't pay a lot of attention you don't need to try to watch it because you have all kinds of things working in on each other but yeah that's all for this one i'll have four more of these uh so have to save them of course i'll have more you know with fear of the walking dead and uh, if they do tales and all those other shows because i'll always do uh, i'll always do reviews of them because i like the shows but there's only four more of these walking dead ones so we'll, we'll see what's left i'll see y'all next week